a lot of questions surrounding uh, Moses Wetangula and that big question is do you think Wetangula should be called flag bearer in 2017? Uh, Senator Moses Wetangula, thank you so much for making time for the big question tonight. Thank you, Zen. You're welcome. Uh, let's take a look at some of your feedback now. Uh, David says Wetangula forced himself to the coalition and it will be unfair to Kalonzo and Raila Odinga. He's looking for a scapegoat to leave the coalition that you'll respond to later on. And we have Muchai from Mbakasi. Wetangula has all it takes for him to be the president of Kenya. What is different between him and Raila or even Uhuru Kenyatta? Keep talking to us on double two for the button on Twitter using the hashtag. Uh, the big question will look at your tweets shortly. Senator, yes. today we saw the Code Coalition Affairs Management team yes. come out to clear the air. Right, first we'll take a look at some tweets. Maurice Muhindin Dalo says, What has Honorable Otangula done for the Western people to be mandated with the entire country? And we have Abdul Ghaffar Mohammed, Court should accept democracy and respect all its tenets. Otangula has the right to contest for the post internally. Frederick Conjoro, why not? Moses Otangula is the most capable of reading ODM among the trio. And we have Mongela, all three court principles deserve an equal chance to be presidential candidate. Keep talking to us and look at your feedback <coughs> uh, mm -hmm. as we go on with this interview. I was asking you, Senator, thank you for making time again. We thank saw the Code Coalition Affairs Management team come out to clear some uh, issues around court today. We saw yes. Senator Mudama today and Orengo speak, and they said very clearly, if there was a pact in 2013, it was between Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka. The question to you first is, was there any pact or an MOU? And why didn't Eseli Simiu, who's supposed to be a member of that committee, not attend the meeting? Uh, in code, we have three joint chairmen, mm -hmm. a trio, so to speak, mm -hmm. Eseli Simiu, James Orengo, and Johnston Mudama. Yeah. In the run-up to the elections, we had an agreement that we signed at KICC between myself Honorable Raila and Honorable Kalonzo, mm -hmm. which brought our three parties together yeah. to form the Cold Coalition. Right. Thereafter, we had a series of addendums, so to speak, to these agreements, including an agreement with Cyrus Jerongo mm -hmm. of uh, Federal Party of Kenya, mm -hmm. including a short-lived agreement with Charity Ngilu, and including some agreement w that we signed at Serena between uh, Raila and Kalonzo, whose contents I'm not obliged to disclose. And I will not. First, I'll, I'll come to those contents shortly. Yes. Why didn't the Selly Simiu then attend today? This is a I key don't meeting, isn't know. It? Parliament was on. I have not spoken to him, but I saw him speaking on TV. Uh, the normal situation would be uh, a Selly. Orengo and Madama should be together. Right, but, but uh, James Orengo did inform me in the Senate chamber that they had had a press conference and they were not able to get Eseli to the meeting. To the meeting? Yes. Fine. Um, Eseli was not in the meeting. In the meeting, the two said if there was a pact, you're saying yes. there was a, you were part of a pact among the three. I mean, the three that of you. Created it, as code, as, yes. that, uh, not the one that created code. Yes. Was there a memorandum of understanding? to say Raila should, be the pres should go for presidency in 2013 and Kalonzo in 2017. We are also hearing, and that is yes. why it's good you're here to clarify, yes. but Tangula should go for the presidency in 2022. Was there such an MOU? Not to my knowledge. There was no defined period for me, because I must speak for myself, right. to go for the presidency in 2022. Remember, in 2013, I was a presidential candidate. My party had uh, picked me to run for the presidency and you remember my famous statement outside KICC that there can only be one president of this country at a time mm -hmm. and at that time we subordinated our interests to our brother Raila Odinga okay. and uh, we agreed with uh, Kalonzo Musioka as to what we should be I was if we got the majority in the house to be the majority leader and to lead our team in houses mm -hmm. And Kalonzo was to be the deputy president, and Raila was the president. Right. And we agreed to that. And you're not aware of whether there was then, if you're saying you're not part of such an agreement, yes. was there an agreement between Kalonzo and Raila? A the series of, of agreements were signed. To have him go I for I'm aware seven, there was some agreement between the two, mm -hmm. uh, Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka, but the contents we agreed to keep them under wraps. So, I'm not so you're about not confirming or denying whether the agreement was Kalonzo to go for 2017? 
I am not confirming or denying. Not confirming or denying. Yes. Very well. You're among the first, I mean, you're the first one to say you're going for this seat, yes. uh, the presidency. First, how would you describe uh, the, the situation now in court after that? Actually, it is not true that I'm the first. In February, we were in Machakos, if you remember. After Kalonzo. Yes, right. and uh, Wiper Party unveiled my brother Kalonzo as their candidate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did, the two of us, uh, Miami and uh, Prime Minister Raila, mm -hmm. attend the meeting. And it was very joyous, uh, so to speak, because we even made a joint declaration, the three of us, mm -hmm. that it was incumbent upon each constituent part of court to strengthen themselves so that we go to the next elections with a very, very strong code, mm -hmm. knowing very well that if you want to strengthen your house, you strengthen its pillars, you don't knock them off. Okay. Yes. Just for the record, I know you talked about this very briefly because before we go to another question, do you have any misgivings that Raila did not show up uh, in uh, Kakamega when you were launching your bid? I did, but now I don't. I did because uh, my brother had told me that he was coming to Kakamega. Right. He had announced to the media. We had met and agreed he was coming, but he didn't come. Uh, he later, uh, in a meeting we met last Tuesday, mm -hmm. between me, Kalonzo, and uh, Raila, we had a whole three-hour meeting, and we discussed various issues, including uh, Raila's failure to turn up in Kakamega. Right. He, and he tendered uh, an apology for failing to turn up for circumstances beyond his control. We took his apology okay. and we said uh, this is now history. Right. This is you on Sunday. We're going to look at a clip here. You were campaigning, I think, in Budalangi uh, on Sunday and this is what you said, if we can listen to that. Tukifika pale mbele na muomba na mutongoza raila na muambia ndugu yangu. We tumetembea pamoja, tunapendana wakati huu now we smama nyuma yangu vile mimi nisimama nyuma yako. Na mimi nikitangulia na tufuatane na ndugu yangu Kalonzo, Raila awe hapo as a father figure. Eh? Awe hapo as a father figure. Akisema sasa mimi nimefanya yangu, nimefika kikomo, sasa mimi ni guide nyenye vijana twende mbele. Mtu wa kupimana na uhuru na Ruto ni wainue kwa ratili ni mimi. Mimi. That was very interesting when you talked about a father figure. Is that what yes. you believe? That he should not, he should just be, he should square it out with Kalonzo Musioka, not Raila Odinga. You know, we are looking for opportunities. Uh -huh. We are campaigning. And when you campaign, there's no structured language. Uh -huh. You have to woo those you are talking to, to see how best they can come to you. Indeed, I want to be a presidential candidate and flag bearer for God. Mm -hmm. My party for Kenya has already given me that opportunity. What language should I use to woo Raila and Kalonzo to support me? To first impress them as my brothers and friends, mm -hmm. like I've always done, mm -hmm. and to encourage them that uh, in this uh, time round, I feel I should foot this bill and please support me. Right. Yes, you have the right. Real, it's legitimate right. for me yeah, to do that. Right. You have the right to use any language you, yes. you want to use in, in campaigns, but as you said. So yes. why did you choose to use a language that says you should swear it out with Kalonzo and Raila should support you as a father figure? Uh, I could have said the same of Kalonzo. But really, you didn't. I didn't. And uh, I have uh, been, uh, you know, Raila has a massive national constituency. There's no doubt about it. And uh, you recall in 2002, his single statement at Uhuru Park made Kibaki the president of this country. And if history is anything to go by, I am appealing to him to follow those steps in my regard. It is not that I'm belittling his ability to be a candidate. Indeed, within court, we, the three of us, have legitimate right to run. We are all candidates, right? And so we are going to f go through a process of arriving at a flag bearer. So Kaila should, Kaila should still run. Absolutely. Okay. Appealing uh, to him to stand behind me doesn't mean he shouldn't walk on the path of looking. There was a difference with how you said yes. it. You talked about yes. uh, him as a father figure, but yes, yes. You've, you've clarified that. Um, Kakamega Governor Whitley for Paranya is among the people who have taken issue. Yes. Uh, with, with, with your bid and I'll just quote him in a statement where he says there will be a problem if big rivers join small rivers 
and even says ODM is the most popular party in the Western region, that Ford Kenya has only three MPs. Do you really see yourself, the question is, do you really see yourself as equals with Raila? And I ask this because politics is about numbers, and from where they're coming from, what they're saying is, yes. what are you bringing on the table as Moses Wetangula compared to Raila Odinga and ODM, which has been very strong in, in the Western region? In 2000, you to say you want to let's look at the history. Mm -hmm. In 2002, when we went to the elections, Mwai Kibaki, the retired president, was then lead of DP. Mm -hmm. How many members of parliament did he have? He came and became the president of Kenya. In the previous elections, we had had uh, uh, members of other parties who had uh, performed very well. The issue is not whether Ford Kenya has members of parliament that are equal to ODM or not. Mm -hmm. The issue was the coalition working together. Do we have a common interest? Do we have a common purpose? Do we have question. a common direction? Right. I think we do. That, that is what they are, they are yes. arguing against, whether yes. you are really having the, a, common, a common interest. When yes. you say yes. you want the people of Western region to, to, to go to Ford Kenya, yes. as it is, uh, it is divided. I mean, we have some people in, in, in the Western region supporting ODM, and ODM feel, as a member of, of the Code Coalition, together with yes. Ford Kenya, you're trying to, you're rocking the party from within. You Yet here you're saying you're working together as a coalition. How, how, how can that? I rock a party from within that I don't belong to? I'm not a member of ODM. But so I can't rock ODM from within. I'm, talking I'm rocking a member a rocking of the code, code Coalition. Rocking Code from the within. The Code Coalition ODM. is not a party. It is a coalition of three parties. Equal in respect, equal in capacity. ODM has more members, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. WIPA has slightly more members than Fort Kenya. Mm -hmm. But we are predicated on the basis of the equality of our contribution to the party in terms of us as parties being equal to move together. There is no doubt, as you have seen, every time we are together, Raila's most famous statement is season my figure. <laughs> Matatu. Okay. You can remove one and remain with two and get anywhere. So the coalition really matters to you then? The coalition is very important. So from a layman point of view... And I mean, even when I was in Kakamega, mm -hmm. if you recall what I said, I have been given the privilege to be a candidate by the party I lead, Ford Kenya. But I want to run for the leadership of this country within the context of the Code Coalition. Of the code coalition. So it really matters to you, Code it Coalition, uh, to you. as you speak. Absolutely. Okay, then, as a layman, some, somebody would argue if you're saying, you yourself are saying Ford Kenya has slightly less uh, numbers as compared to Code, yes. as it is right now. Not to Code, to ODM. To ODM, sorry, yes. uh, to ODM. Yes. Uh, would it be the best thing, if you're working for the Code Coalition and you really the code coalition matters to you. Yes. Would it the best thing be for you to reach out to other places and try to get new people to join Ford Kenya yes. other than trying to, you know, get supporters who are supporting ODM? And that is why by the way, you are rocking the coalition. By the way, uh, Hussein, last weekend on Sunday, Honorable uh, Onyura, my Karingo Onyura of Butla, who was elected not on ODM, but on federal part of Kenya, joined Ford Kenya as a member. We are in competition, political competition. So when my brother Oparanya says we are rocking uh, ODM, I don't understand, because in the spirit of Machako... You're rocking code. He said ODM. Okay. In because the ODM is in the code coalition, yes. isn't it? In the spirit of Machakos, we declared publicly in front of television that we must strengthen our parties. To strengthen our parties, we must woo members across each other. Mm -hmm. Only a month ago, my, let me okay. finish okay. Okay. Only a month ago, my brother Raila Odinga was in Bungoma, mm -hmm. and I attended the meeting that, that, of his yeah. party. Yeah. And his secretary general said, mm -hmm. in my presence, that ODM will look for members anywhere and everywhere, will field candidates in all electoral positions in the country, including whichever seat I was going to stand on. What is wrong with Ford Kenya doing the same thing? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't it be the best thing be yes. for you to get numbers elsewhere? That I'm doing, okay. by the way. All right. uh, you will see me everywhere in this country. All right. Uh, the same Oparanya has talked about that there's no doubt, and some members of, uh, of the Code Coalition, I'm sure you've heard them saying, there's no doubt that Raila will be the flag bearer in 2017. 
First of all, uh, I don't want to discuss Oparanya because he has uh, been making extremely unhelpful statements mm -hmm. in regard to my person, okay. my candidature, and the part I lead, forgetting that he first went to parliament on a Ford Kenya ticket. There is no automatic candidate in court. Raila is a candidate nominated by his party ODM. Weta is a candidate nominated by his party Ford Kenya. Kalonzo Busioka is a candidate nominated by his party Wiper. Mm -hmm. The three of us are talking. In fact, the people who are creating levels of discomfort that are necessary mm -hmm. are our lieutenants. You're between not on the way me, out, as it's, as between it's me and mm -hmm. Raila and Kalonzo, we have no issues that are dividing us. We sit, we talk, and we agree that if it is Raila, we will all be happy. If it is me, they will all be happy. If it's Kalonzo, we shall all be happy. It, it, it's, I mean, some say, you uh, or respond to this, some yeah. say, you know, yes. you are just seeking an excuse or laying the ground for you to exit from court. What do you have to say about that? How ridiculous can people get? <laughs> we found it court. We were not invited into court. Raila, Kalonzo and I sat and consensually agreed to form court. I can't help build a house and run away from it. Mm -hmm. And in fact, those people who are making those reckless statements are the people who probably are agents of others to see that maybe if court is less one party, it will be good tidings for our opponents. Mm -hmm. I am in court. I've helped found court. Mm -hmm. I have strengthened court. I've put all my political uh, tidings in court in the last couple of years, and I'm in court to fight out with my friends so to make sure that I get the ticket to fight for the presidents of Kenya. To the end? To the end. What if you don't get it? I'm a good Democrat. Like I have always said, the process of arriving at a candidate must be free, must be fair, must be transparent, must be democratic. Once it is, there will be no reason for anybody to think or reconsider their positions in the coalition because when you agree to compete, there will always be a winner and a non-winner. So either way it goes, you're saying you're not going to bolt. Either way it goes. It has never been on my cards. Bold to where? So you're not and going to bold for what? So that, that, will not, that is not going to happen. That is why I have So what would you propose? Yeah, what and would repeatedly mm -hmm. said Raila and I and Kalonzo, all this country a duty to stick together. Of course, I can't stop anybody else from walking away. If anybody wanted to walk away, I will not. Okay. So what did you say? What should be the best way between or among you, yes. Kalonzo and Raila? Should there be an election? Should there be consensus, nomination process? What, what, what should be there the There are many way? ways of arriving at a candidate. Whichever route you take, it's called nomination because mm -hmm. it's a primary. Yeah. It can be consensus, it can be universal suffrage, it can be whatever you want to call it. But as we stand now, we have a team of Eseli, Mudama, and Orengo, who are the joint chairs of CORD, whom we have tasked to get together and find a mechanism of how we shall arrive at a candidate. Whichever route we take, mm -hmm. we want it to be free and fair to all the candidates that are there. So far it is Kalonzo, Raila and myself. Okay. Others may join in because we still have plenty of time. All right. Uh, finally, in 2013 you also said you wanted to go for the presidency prior to the election. Yes, I did. But then you became a court principal with yes. Raila and Kalonzo. I subordinated my interests you subordinated to the greater good of court, of the court coalition. and supported my brother Raila. Yeah, and that is why some people are saying that you're not really keen on being the president. What you're keen on is getting your name so up so high that you can go for any other electoral seat. Like, like a governor seat in Bungoma, for instance. Yes. In Nairobi, it's even mentioned. Yes, yeah. by who? It's been mentioned. I am seeking the presidency of the Republic of Kenya. And for the time that I have worked in the political landscape, remember I first went to parliament in 1993. Mm -hmm. We ended parliament on the same day with Raila Odinga. We ended parliament the same day with Kraitu Murungi. We ended parliament the same day with many people. My contemporaries are known. Okay. We have walked this path. We have matured on this path. And I believe that my progression in life 
in the political landscape of this country gives me the next hill to fight on as the address down so, the road here. Right, so do we, do we take your word then yes. that you're not going for any other seat? I am going for the president of Kenya. And no other seat? In I am going for the president of Kenya and no other seat because... If regardless, I, regardless of what happens, yes. you're not going for any other seat in Of course in politics you never say never. If the matrix becomes different, then we reach, cross that bridge when we reach it. As it is now, I'm squaring out with my brother Raila, uh -huh. with my brother Kalonzo, and I can assure you the three of us are working together very well. And I want to take this opportunity to advise our lieutenants uh -huh. to avoid making unhelpful and bellicose and belligerent statements that can only serve to undermine the strength and the cohesion of our code coalition. Competition is healthy. People must compete. At the end of the day, one of us will emerge, one of us will lead, and one of us will be the candidate. Okay. And that's what I believe in. Right. Yes. Senator, uh, Senate Minority Leader Moses Wetangula, also Senator Bungoma County, now wants to be President of Kenya, and I wish you the best of luck. Will you so vote much. for me? <laughs> that I'll keep to myself. Will you come in for I, me? I wish you the best uh, in, your, in your endeavors. But thank you so much for making time you, for the you, big question. Thank you, sir. We'll be back after this short break. Right.